Okay, y'all, so I'm going to show you a basic setup how you could do the um, the long graffiti or plain um, letterfront earring studs. So you come to pixlr.com. I'm going to click on the E. I have plenty. Um, click here for create new. I have plenty of videos showing you. They keep changing stuff in here, but I have videos showing you how to bring in your own fonts and XYZ. Just make sure it's on full HD. Name it over here if you want. Then hit create. So when you come in, grab a text and just hit add text. And I'm just going to use what they have here. And I'm just going to space it out because I'm going to change the layout. So I'm just going to leave that. I was double spacing. If you, um, I was double spacing the, uh, the font. I mean the letters. I was double spacing to get the extra space in there. So change the font color up here so you can see what I'm doing and up here I'm also change the size so you can see what I'm doing okay I'm gonna leave it there and I'm just gonna slide this over some okay now again I say this thing this when you um for the next step you want to go to layer and you want to raster this layer raster the layer so okay well it rastered it good then put no big bounding box around it now you can go ahead and do your letters the way you want them like this or you can line them up how you want them and do them that's up to you i'm going to leave it like this for now and so what i'm going to do is is make this um layer i'm going to duplicate that layer and with that um duplicate layer selected i'm going to fill it with i'm just going to choose a color okay i'm going to choose whatever color you want so i'm going to choose a, choose that pink color and you see now it has that big extra box around it i'm going to leave it for now because it's you don't have to cut it so i won't confuse you with that so you just slide this to where you want it so the black can shine um come through the back so you're making like an offset or your own little graffiti font however whatever okay i'm gonna leave that there then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a duplicate of the pink layer image layer duplicate and then i'm going to turn that layer off for now so now i'm going to go up to layers and i'm going to merge visible so now that makes this one one layer everything is locked together and you, if you can't see here on the screen this big box is around it so I'm, i am going to cut it now because i don't want that big old box so i'm just going to um, get the marquee tool the square marquee tool if you're on the circle then click rectangle up here and then I'm going to hit edit cut edit paste and then this first layer over here I'm just going to delete it now I'm going to turn back on that Keisha layer and I'm just going to well I don't need it just yet so well yes i do let's turn it on and i need to cut it as well because it's got a big box around it so i'm going to cut that edit cut edit paste delete that extra copy so you can see what um i'm doing for now i'm just gonna fill it cancel make sure i'm on the right one i'm going to fill it with a color opposite of the pink color so again another big bounding box 
I got to get that off of there. That That is so aggravating. I don't know why it does that. Edit, cut, edit, paste. Okay. Now I'm going to slide that on top. And let's say you want a gradient on this. So you click over here. This is the gradient box. You click over there where it says gradient. And then click at the top. First, before we do that, you want to make sure these pixels are selected. So make sure you're on that blue layer or your top layer. And make sure you say select. Go up, hit select, and then hit select pixels. Then click your gradient box. Then click up here in the gradient box. And you can choose what they already have here. If you want rainbow or whatever, you can click on these and come in here and change your colors. You just click the little slider there, come in here, choose the color you want, and then click OK. And it will change it. So that's how you do that. Change the colors to specific colors you want. Okay. So once you have that, then you just click over here on this um, anywhere over here to get to the screen, get back to the um, the crosshair so you can change it. So you just click somewhere and you drag. Click and drag. And then either way you do it, it will add this color. You can click up and down or whatever. So for now, I'm just going to leave it like so. And then I'm going to edit or uh, select and then hit deselect. Now I have that. Now I want to add, maybe I want to add a stroke to it. A small stroke, but I want it to be um, this pink color. Okay, and then let's see, I want to, or maybe I want blue. Or maybe you don't want to stroke at all. That is totally up to you. Let me see if I go with blue. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for now. I, maybe I like that. Okay, and then I'm going to hit apply. Now, I have this pretty much set up how I like it. I like this. And so, before moving to this step, you want to be sure you have it set up how you want so you don't have to start all over. So let's go on to the next step. We're going to go up to the top and we're going to hit layer and then we're going to have, go down to merge visible. So it will make it all one layer. Now everything is one. Now what we need to do is just cut the letters apart. So we're just going to grab the marquee tool, drag it over one letter, hit edit, cut, edit, paste. And I'm going to pause the video so I can do that so I won't run out of time. Okay, once you get them all cut um, and separated, then you want to start your placement. So you can overlap it how you want to. You can put, um, you can overlap to the front, to the back, however you want to. Let's see. I think I'll do that. And that. I think I'll do that. So again, once you once you get it how you want it, this next step, you want to make sure this is laid out how you want it. So you can um so the next step is you're going to um merge these layers. So you want to merge visible, go up to layers and merge visible. So now, and make sure you hit unlock over here. So now there's one layer. And again, that large bounding box is around it. So you want to take your, the marquee tool and come in here. And you want to edit and you want to cut, edit, paste. So I'm going to get rid of that layer over there. Okay. So now we have this. Now, from here, you want to add a stroke. But you can leave it like that if you wanted to. 
or you can just go on to this next step so you could do whatever color you want and whatever size you want so let's say I was going to add that color I'm cool with it then I hit apply I'm go back and hit stroke again maybe I want to add another color and maybe I want to add it a little bit bigger so make it a little bit bigger and maybe I want to add purple or pink or yellow or whatever so let's say I wanted this to be a little bit more pink a little bit more okay and then I hit apply and let's say oh, I like that that's what I want you don't have to stop there you can come in you could get the brush tool and we're on white go up choose your brush size I'm gonna go real small on this and I'm gonna let's say about a five okay and then I'm going to click over here maybe I want to go a little bit bigger click over here and then I can add some little dots wherever wherever I want to you can go down on and do all the letters that is up to you and put them where you want any little designs wherever you want so after you do that you can add you can make them any color you could also put them on an empty layer so you could click over there click at this plus sign and then click empty so that you could put them on an empty layer in case you wanted to make them a different color so you you did them all white and like well maybe I wanted to do yellow or maybe I wanted to do black if you put them on their own layer then you'll be able to edit and then fill them in the little dots in with whatever color you choose so you can leave that as that or you could come in and grab you um, Maybe you want some stars and maybe you want those stars to be black or whatever color. So I'm going to make a, a size up there and then maybe you want some, some stars in here somewhere. Maybe you like that and maybe that's good for you. So then you, if you're fine with this the way it is, then you're going to hit File, Save. And then you want to make sure it's P, PNG is selected and then hit Download. And wherever it goes to your desktop, wherever you're saving it to, and then hit Save again. And then Close. And then you can open this in Cricut. See, like this, you can make your own, own little font or whatever. Or you can pull in fonts. You can work with fonts that's already in here. Um, I have videos already showing you how to pull in fonts and stuff. So once you have it saved, then you can open it in Cricut and do your layers and print then cut. Okay, guys. Once you bring it over into Cricut, then you're going to want to make sure that you size it to whatever size you need a 2.5 is kind of long um, so what you will need to do is get a ruler so you can measure real time don't measure by this this is just to make sure what you see in real time uh, matches up to um, this in here the measurements in here so you can't really gauge what it's going to look like if you measure out in here you'll need to get you a ruler so you get a ruler let's say for me i'm i would make um make these two point we always and for earrings we always are measuring for width this time we're measuring for height so i want 2.5 so i will put that over in h or height so and on screen it's going to look real small that's why i say you cannot gauge it by what it looks like on this screen because it looks small but they will not be real tiny they'll be you know a good size so let's say that's the size you want and you're going to make a duplicate did I hit it any day now 
it might be doing something so I think it was so either way hit a duplicate make a duplicate and then you're gonna make another duplicate and for this one you're gonna make it a cut file so you can use it for your layers and it is going it's lagging a little bit so this would you can leave it that color whatever so let's say for each earring you want to make you could do four four to six um layers per earring so you will duplicate this if you're going to do four you need eight of these so you duplicate eight times and then you cut this out of your black cardstock white cardstock you could even use one of these colored cardstocks you know you want might want to use purple or yellow or pink or blue whatever but make sure it is 110 pound cardstock because if it's anything less than that, let's say you buy those, um, what is this, Astro Bright Neon um, Car Style, and I think it's 65 pound, and you can get that at Walmart or the craft stores, then you will probably end up using mm, eight layers per earring. It just depends. So if you don't want to use that many layers, then you could just do um, 110 pound. And let's say you're going to do four layers per earring, then you would need eight of these. So you just. Um, duplicate that as many times as you need eight times and then you would just um, for the backs of the earrings you could use gold foil or glitter so you would just use this to this shape and cut your glitter card stock so maybe you're going to do um let's say you're going to do a pink glitter then you'll duplicate first you want to um horizontal flip it and then you duplicate so then you can turn all this off and hit make on these pink ones and cut load your mat with your pink glitter or foil whatever you're going to use and you cut those out you know you already did this you once you um have these you can cut all this off and hit print i mean hit make in this print then cut this from print it from your printer and then cut it out on your Cricut and then you set these up you'll have eight of these and then you cut those from the black card stock and then you just mod podge everything together so you would have one of these let's bring it to the front so you would have I thought it'd come to the front. Send to the front. So, so you would glue this on top of four of these and glue another one on top of four. And then you would glue these to the backs. And then attach your um stud. Now you can um hide the stud at once you put all four of the um black car stop pieces or white car stop pieces or whatever color once you glue all um, all this together so you have your four glued and then this glued to the top you can glue your stud down to the back of this and then make a hole so it could fit through here and glue that over top so you can hide the stud okay and that is pretty much it to making the um, print and cut studs. I want to try something while I'm in here. So let me see something. Just grab a letter. Because you know in here now you can make the. Um, I'm going to make it red for now. In here you can make the offset. If you're working from the computer. So I'm going to go with here. And make an offset did I not do it <laughs> no so let me go with it there apply it so I have that so now let's see if I can make offset. okay I can make offset on this as well and apply so now let me go grab something hold on one second okay so i just went and grabbed um some images so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this to cover the top 
um, letter or the smallest um, letter, letter without any um, outline. And I'm going to slice that letter from there. So let me cut that one off. Okay, and I have that. So then with this one, I'm going to slice it from this image. I'm going to turn it like this. I'm going to unlock it and drag it out over that L. I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to hit slice. You can do what you want. This is just a quick, I'm just showing you something real quick. Okay, and let's see. Or maybe I wanted to make that red. Let's see. Let's go back. Well, I could do that for now. And then I'm going to size that one up a little bit more. Drag this over here. Select these both. And I'm going to hit slice. So now let's see. So now I have this, I cut this off, this, and I need to bring this to the front, move forward, and to the front, and that will go there, and this can come to the front, and it will go here. So now that's okay, but it doesn't stick out like I need it to stick out. So I will cut this one off and I will cut this one back on. Let's make it red. Let's bring it up one, move forward, and move forward. Okay. Now. Now, now you could leave it like so, or you could add another stroke to this back one to get you a black outline going. Fly. And I think that's cool.